What's going on, guys? It's Kevin here. Uh, Post game, Dallas and uh, the Chiefs, as well as North Carolina, Tennessee. Let's start off with um, with uh, Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. First of all, I want to talk about that. Um, let's just say one thing good that happened today was the defense played well. Cowboys fans, I want you to listen to me, and I want you to listen to me now. I understand there were some injuries. I get that. That's an excuse. You, we just got our, our candy AWS whipped. I mean, bottom line, that's just it. By average Kansas City team, who looked at made our offensive line just look like they did not even exist on the field today. Uh, the Cowboys just won in it from the start. Um, just like, like against Denver. That I'm not sure how it is you just don't show up you and not want to win. The Cowboys absolutely showed up and they just did not care to win this game at all, period, today. There was no heart in this team. There was no fight in this team. There was no nothing in this team. Um, Mahomes is one of the most overrated quarterbacks that I've ever watched, and so is Dak Prescott. There's just no way Dak Prescott is is even close to being one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now. It's just, it, it, he's just not. Okay, let's just say this right here: the Cowboys have had an easy schedule. The Cowboys had the Panthers. When they had Sam Donald and they didn't have Christian McCaffrey. Had that happened, the Cowboys would have lost another game. Cowboys are not better than the Panthers. I mean, I mean, though the Panthers uh, lost today, but, 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 but the Cowboys are a, are, are a legitimate mess right now. I understand what happened against the Falcons last week, and it was glory, and it was, it was God, and it was everything, but it was all fake. The Dallas Cowboys put on a show last week that just, it, now it, it just looks awful. It was not meant to be. I mean, the Cowboys just, I don't know. I, I don't, there's a severe identical issue with this team. When you have identity problems in a team, there there's problems all over everywhere, and there is problems all over everywhere. And it, you know, I'm not gonna blame. Uh, I'm not gonna blame injuries because you can't. I mean, it's just it's like this right here. One guy goes down, the next guy's got to step up. He's got to be the guy. That's just the bottom line. But uh, the Dallas Cowboys are are going to find themselves barely able to win the NFC East. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if they if they don't lose control of the NFC East because they go to the Superdome next week. That's going to be a tough place for Dak Prescott. He is Dak is not very good. He's just not. And I I hate to tell you Cowboys fans that, I, and I'm a Cowboys fan too. But Dak Prescott is just not good. I mean that's just it. He's on one game and off the next. That's who he is. And. uh He's a turnover waiting to happen, like Mahomes. Um, he's not worth the money. He, Jerry sh should not have signed him. I mean, it, it was a bad mistake signing Dak Prescott, and now he's going to have to eat that contract because Dak sure ain't living up to that hype. He sure ain't living up to that money. He's getting the money. That's all he cares about. Um, Dak really don't care that much about winning. I mean, he... <laughs> Ezekiel Elliott, all he does is he, he he's the laziest team uh, player on the team, and uh, that's followed up by Lionel Collins and, and uh, oh my god, there's no team in the NFL that 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 jumps off sides more than the Dallas Cowboys do. I want to tell you about that as well. Um. There's only one good, one really good player on the on the Cowboys, and that's and that's Parsons. 
That that's it. That's all we got. We got nothing else. I know Trayvon Diggs with his interceptions and stuff, but he literally sucks on defense. That's just it. He's from Alabama. He sucks on defense. I mean, you can't give up all the yardage that he gives up and then all of a sudden just come out of the middle of nowhere and come up with an interception and be like, oh, he's the shutdown man. No, you're not because you you let him drive all the way down the field and then you pick him off. You know, that's that, that don't always happen. And that's what happened today is Patrick Mahomes was just able to get it down the field just enough. I mean, it's not it, it's not like Kansas City was good. They were they were terrible. I mean, they were absolutely atrocious. But Dallas was that much more atrocious. And, and uh, Dak can come back next week and he can he he can light up the scoreboard. But you can't make up for these losses, Dak. You can't. You are who you are. And you are who you have always been. Of there one day, going the next quarterback. That's who Dak is. It's just a, a really bad time to to be a sports fan right now. It it is because uh, all my tra- all my teams are struggling. Thankfully, my team won the World Series, so I, I will settle that. But um, uh, the Dallas Cowboys and the North Carolina Tar Heels are they, they're really struggling. Um, the Tar Heels are struggling mightily in basketball. They're struggling. Mightily in football, it, there's just nothing good right now at Chapel Hill. Then we're gonna move on to that now. Um, right now, Carolina has the probably the, the third worst athletic department in in uh, in the triangle. Um, it's hard to say who would number one be between State and Duke, but Duke sucks in football. Duke is good in a lot of other sports. NC State sucks in a lot of sports, but they actually look like they're a better team than us in basketball this year. Um, even though they, they're they eking out wins against nobodies. I mean, they, they, they are doing it, and that's and that's the positive thing for NC State. But um, North Carolina is just not doing anything. They're not playing any defense. This is the worst defensive team in the country. Efficiency. Um, I, 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 it, this team is not going to a postseason tournament. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. They're not good enough. Armando Bacot, who had his way against Bunnies, last two games, when he come up, when he had, when he's had to play against somebody, he's just come up to be worse than last year. Um, in a way, I kind of wish he would have transferred. But um, the Tar Heels are just not getting any good players in basketball. I mean, that's just that's just it. Um, they're not. Obviously, next year it is going to be much better in football, but I'm not quite sold on that yet. Um, I need to see more. Uh, I don't want to see more Jacoby. I need to see more out of out of Drake May because Mac didn't draft draft a quarterback next year. He did not do that. So it's either Sam Howell stays or Drake May is going to be the quarterback. And if if that's the situation, then, then Carolina may have a quarterback problem at Chapel Hill next year. And they may be not very good on offense. Um, I think they'll be a little bit better on defense, maybe just by a little bit. But uh, they're really not a good team. That they are a terrible, a really terrible basketball team right now. And uh, they're at at best upper lower part of the ACC. Um, there's absolutely nothing looking good for the Tar Heels. I mean, they don't have a big guy. They don't have anybody can shoot the ball. Um, when Kerwin Walton gets the ball, they're double teaming him, and that just takes your best shooter out of the game. And and that's when Caleb Love 
has to step it up, which he's not done, and and he may actually be the worst point guard that I have seen in my life at Carolina. Um, the the Tar Heels are are just like they were last year. They are a turnover machine. Um, they will and. and they did have a little bit of defense last year because they had Garrison Brooks, but they really missed Garrison Brooks, guys. I mean, they, you know, losing Garrison Brooks w- was big to the Tar Heels. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, if we had Garrison Brooks, I think we would have won one of these games. But uh, losing him and, and getting uh, uh, Brady Manick, it was just, we have absolutely no size now. There's no size for the Tar Heels. There's no um, – Carolina doesn't have a big man. They don't have a point guard. They just got maybe one, maybe two shooting guards that can get hot once in a while. But uh, this team is uh, at best, at best, by the end of this season, after ACC play, is 500. Um, maybe a game above. They're, they're, they're certainly not going to the NCAA tournament. And Ontario fans, I want you to listen to me now. You know this as well as I know it. You, we're not going to the NCAA tournament. We're going to – we will be at UNC Asheville. We're going to lose to Michigan. And from then on, who knows what's going to happen when uh, conference starts in late December, early January. But uh, Carolina is actually the underdog in every road game and probably going to be the underdog in quite a few home games too. So um, I think the Tar Heels are in for a long year this year. Uh, It's just going to be – and I find it personally, I find it uh, that Roy Williams sitting right behind uh, Hubert Davis at every – at every game, on every road game, why did you retire, Roy, if that's what you were going to do? It's a total distraction, you know. Uh, in, in my opinion, that's, I mean, it, it. Hubert Davis is not able to coach the team the way he wants to coach the team when Roy Williams is breathing right up under his neck. Even though Roy Williams is not no longer hired at Carolina, still think he's calling some of the shots, but... uh These are the players that Roy Williams recruited, and he brought them in as transfers. So uh, this is what we're left with, um, a Roy Williams-type mess. Um, however, on the other hand, uh, Carolina women's basketball, they look really, really strong. Um, they got a number two uh, recruiting class this year. Uh, they've, they're have holding everybody to an average of 40 points or less. And uh, they ha- hadn't even had a competitive game yet. They're they're 4-0. They went on the road tonight to TCU, which is a, a big 12 team, and they just ripped them apart, 79-46. to 46. So uh, they're really well, and th- th- they're pretty good in women's basketball, not the best. But um, as far as men's basketball and, and football, th- th- they're not good at all. Um, and... We got NC State this week, and uh, it's just going to be a long game at Raleigh. I mean, it's just going to be – Sam Howell's just – NC State is going to come after him with all fours. and uh, I just hope that we keep it respectable at Kings – I mean, at Carter-Finley. I give the Tar Heels no chance to win that game. Um, State's going to be too roused up. Um – they're going to be wanting to uh, win the ACC, uh, get the ACC title game. I think there's just way too much on the line for, for them to lose to a team like the Tar Heels. Um, it's just, but Carolina, Carolina is bow eligible, but um, it, it 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 should not be a good bow they go to. It's it's going to be a a, a very very low bowl. Um, and that's not the standard at Carolina. I mean, you know, we need to win football games. 
it, it looks like that we're just going back through the fedora years all over again. The Mac is back thing, that's gone. That's that's done. We need to stop that nonsense. You know, Mac is not the coach that he was in the nineties. I thought he might could be, but he, he he's not. Um but next year he does have a better recruiting class, so we'll see what happens next year. But uh, he's really not done a good job this year. Um, and and Tony Grimes is just – I think he's just out there to, to, to try to get a, a draft pick. I mean, I, he don't put no effort in the game at all whatsoever. Um, it does look like it's going to be a long year to be a Tar Heel fan, unfortunately. Um I'm hoping I'm uh, uploading a much, much, much more happier video um, Friday night post game, but uh, I, I I do not expect North Carolina to have a chance to beat NC State at Carter Finley. Um, yeah, I, I think it'll be a blowout, and uh, Carolina will get off to its slow start as it always does, and they don't have the defense that can stop or fight back. Um, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, it is that Dallas Cowboys stink and, and North Carolina men's basketball stinks and, and North Carolina football is, is just they're not very good. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. If you if you like what I have to say, if you like my video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we will talk to you later.